Okay, uh, week 32. Um, I started last week thinking I was going to change the way I was recording this. Clearly I didn't. So uh, anyway, we'll see how things go. This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcasting system. This is only a test. Okay, it's uh, week 32. Um, this week I thought we'd try something different. So uh, today is actually Saturday. Uh, it's the end of the week. Uh, I didn't film all week. Uh, what I thought I'd do is rather than show you things that tell you what I think I'm going to do in the morning and what I really did in the afternoon, what I'd end up doing is just uh, kind of showing you what I did all week. Uh, we'll just kind of walk around and talk about that. And uh, it'll make for a shorter video. You don't have to spend as much time watching me go back and forth. Um, don't worry, Cynthia. We'll make sure the dog's in there. Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so let's just walk around, take a look and see what we did for the week. I think this week, you know, th this week actually we had a lot of smaller projects, detailed projects. Uh, sometimes a couple of them, you know, made a dramatic difference. Some of them you're like, did I do anything? But, you know, trying to get through the small stuff. Uh, it's not like, you know, one week there's no roof and the next week there is. So, uh, but we still got to get through them. So anyway, here we go. Okay. Well. The house gets to be a mess and then it's clean. A mess and a clean. It's just how much stuff you bring in. So today I've been putting together furniture all day long and it takes forever. You have no idea how long it takes to put together a chair. Taking it apart was so much easier. And let's not even talk about the idea of when I took it apart, I was like, ah, I know exactly where to put all these screws and bolts and nuts and washers. I'll find them easily. And then never remembering that until the very end and then finding them. So anyway, chairs together, uh, put all those together. Almost everybody helped, right? Okay, thank you. Um, but we got uh, that together. We got uh, some more stuff unpacked. Uh, you can see all the packing rugs there, uh, blankets, because that was all of the uh, wall art and everything else. Um, I only had one picture frame that uh, the corner of it cracked. Uh, I can probably uh, uh, put a couple clamps on that, bring it back together, put a little glue on it, and I should be fine. Um, so and start unpacking, you know, stuff put against the wall, do that. The challenge is, um, I'm going to unpack all this stuff, but then I'm going to have a challenge trying to figure out where to put everything because I'm really not that good on the interior designing. So we'll see where it goes. Um, this is the base for the uh, table, uh, the dining room table. So when we bring that in, we'll put that in and that'll kind of give me an idea of the size of the room and what's going on. Um, this little shelving thing here uh, also had a crack in it, but I already glued it, so it's setting up and we should be fine there. Um, so looking around the room, some of the things you might have seen. So windows. The windows are done. All the trim is in, uh, and you might notice that there's also uh, uh, blinds and everything. So everything's got a blind in it. I'm going to go check that one because it looks like the top of it is not hooked in right. Uh, so anyway, there's uh, all of the... Um, trim. The trim matches the floor trim and the ceiling trim. So uh, all of the floor trim is also done all around the doors, pieces and everything. The doors are done. Windows. See the bedroom. Uh, got some laundry still need done. When I unpack clothes, most of the stuff I'm washing anyway. Um, but yeah, so I got the, got the trim. All the windows are done the same. There's a little bit of a reveal right here. Uh, uh, quarter inch all the way around. Uh, well, quarter inch on the sides. The top and the bottom I flushed. I didn't want that, uh, I didn't want there to be a lip on this because something will fall off, knock off or something. So and then I had to match it on top. So anyway, trims in, windows in all the way around. Uh, that means all of the trim is done throughout the house. I did have to, uh, God, you got to love the federal government. So um, these windows, uh, originally I was going to only put in uh, one uh, window this size the, back in the very beginning. So I had bought all the blinds because uh, Lowe's had them on uh, sale. They were uh, going out of uh, style or they were going to discontinue them for some reason. So I bought them all. 
bought blinds for everything. Everything was great. Um, really, really good price. Uh, now I found out why. So I went to go get two new blinds and sure enough, you probably don't realize this, but what is missing here is the string. The string to control these because the government has decided that too many people get choked on those. So they've gotten rid of them. So now you've got these that you lift and they go. Well, that's fine, but you know, well as I do, that's gonna break. Sooner or later, it's not gonna lift and it's not gonna be that way. So anyway, now I've got blinds and gas cans. Thank you for the federal government. Uh, I did remember to uh, um, get the other connector here. So now all the clothes are there. Uh, now I can start, I got hit. I just discovered some hangers today. So I can start kind of hanging things up and putting things away. We'll do that. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? Um, the uh, mud room. So the mud room, I got a couple of uh, just uh, laundry cabinets, doing some washing. Laundry cabinets here so I could put stuff in there. Uh, put them up over there. Got a thing for the dog food, put it next to the cow's pen. Uh, so uh, that way I don't have to keep messing around with a bag of dog food. More boxes coming in, but more boxes go out. So that'll be a good thing. Um, I think... I think that's it. I think we've done everything. Uh, I spent the day washing stuff that came out of the uh, boxes, dishes, and stuff like that, all the utensils and that. So I should be just about everything. All the kitchen stuff should be in here by now. I think I'm done with that. Uh, like I said, I got this thing up. I knew where this was going to go. I have two bookcases, and I believe I'm going to put the bookcases in the bedroom. I don't know, maybe maybe here or over there. I don't know, uh, mirrors. Anyway, we'll see. I figure the best thing to do is unpack it all so I at least can see it all. And once I can see it all, then I can move stuff around and do that. The uh, front yard is still uh, way too muddy to actually do anything. We'll go out here for a second. So, more mud, but uh, so that means that uh, what I end up doing is in the morning when it's still, because uh, it freezes at night, um, is the ground is not mud, I'll go up, pick up boxes, uh, bring them over here and, and uh, set them on the deck, then carry them in and go from there. And then I throw empty boxes out here and uh, put them out there in, my, uh, in the recycle bin. So, today was the first day of deer season. Uh, so you hear plenty of gunshots around here, but you also, uh, uh, my neighbor showed up with his deer that he got. So anyway, next year. Okay. That's it for the day. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. I'll go back in and I'll look around and if I can find anything else, we'll do that. If not, then, uh, we'll go next week. And then you can tell me what you think about this format rather than seeing all of the and today I'll do this, and today I did this. Anyway, or don't tell me anything. Anyway, that's it. Okay, so I did have two other things that I forgot to uh, to show you. So um, pay no attention to all the mess here. What I did do was cabinet lighting. So again, I had, this might be a review, at least the plan. Um, I purchased cabinet lighting again months and months, a year ago. Uh, when it was all on sale, I found a great deal, so I bought that. Um, the challenge is that uh, I changed the cabinet design, so it didn't really work. The links, uh, I had a light that would fit under this cabinet, but I didn't have any smaller ones that would fit here or over here. So um, I put the one light in here. Uh, the other challenge is, again, electric power. So my switch was over here. That's where I was going to switch on the light at, um, but I never put the wire on the wall. So, and that's an exterior wall, so it's got foam in it, so you can't really go back and just add a wire. I might have been able to hide it, uh, but I, I'm not messing with all that. So, I different idea. Just improvise, adapt, and overcome. So, bottom line is that light or that switch over there is going to get another outlet, so that'll just be a double outlet. What I did is I uh, put this light in, bought a smaller one for here, 
and then uh, rewired the switch for it, uh, connected the two. So one switch here fits, works for both. And then what I did is I just went ahead and under cabinet the, the switches right there. So I don't have to worry about that. But uh, there's not a light in the middle, but you can see there's plenty of light there. It's no big deal. The other thing is I'm not going to put a light over here because the coffee pot's going to sit there. So there's no real reason to put a light there. So I'm pretty happy with that light thing. Um, as long as we're on lighting, uh, the other thing I did was install these. Before, if you remember, there were a bunch of just switches on there, uh, single pole switches. Um, I installed these. Clearly, uh, this is on the list uh, to fix. I got a, I've got a list of just kind of stuff that needs to be fixed. It's kind of like when I put this thing in, I rubbed it against the wall. So now I got to touch up the paint there. So I've got a whole little list of touch up things to do. But anyway, these switches, they control the four uh, outside lights, um, the lights that, are, that go out there. And they're pretty cool switches because they're digital switches. So they're not, there's no mechanical part of it. It's just digital. Uh, you can see like I just turned the, that's the only one that's got it connected. It's the only one that's got a floodlight on it right now. Um, but I just turned that light on outside. Um, the other cool thing about this is that uh, they're uh, um, internet controlled. So they're wired into the, or they're, they're connected to the router. Uh, so I've got an app on my phone that lets me control these four lights, the outside lights, anywhere, as long as I have my phone, anywhere I need to. So I can turn the lights on, uh, you know, uh, from, uh, well, anywhere. Uh, it's kind of cool. Plus, if I grab my phone, then I can walk around the house here and I can turn lights on without having to come back here and stand and flip on a light. So if I want to go to a window and look out to see the uh, mountain lion that's out there and I want to flip on a light, I don't have to come back here, turn on a light, and then go to the window. I can stand at the window and just use the app. So that's kind of cool. It works out uh, kind of nicely. Um, the uh, um, floodlights that are outside, I got those. They're big LED lights. So once I put those in, uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you about those. Uh, outside, you know, now that I'm thinking about outside, the other part is that, uh, that the, um, well, we'll just walk right over here for just a second. So back outside. So there's some things that, uh, that we're going to just kind of put off for right now. Like, well, here's the, here's that one LED light that I've got like temporarily put up there. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's pretty thin, but a nice, uh, you can tilt it any way you want, but um, just temporarily stuck it up there to make sure everything works. Um, the siding, uh, we were either going to have to get the siding done here uh, on a nice sunny day or wait until the spring because once it gets cold, that siding gets brittle. And uh, when it's cold, it also shrinks. Um, when you put it in and the sun hits it in the summertime, it'll expand and buckle. So... We'll have to do that. So anyway, we'll get to that. But those are the things I forgot. And uh, yeah, okay. Now that really is the end.